Hi everyone, welcome to the Monday Wrap. We have got a huge amount to cover this week. Heaps of cricket going on over the weekend and we're going to rip straight into performance of the week. There were a ton of centuries out there uh, across the weekend actually. Uh, Mark Tullock, 122 for North Shore against Whitehead, got them up for first innings points, great innings there. A couple in the Tacker game, even though they went down on first innings out there. Daniel Tabrak and Max O'Dowd, fantastic. I think 7th or 8th wicket partnership from them to, to save the game basically there. Both got 100. Darren Dempsey, the East Coast Bays uh, player, he got 134. Guy Colin missed out by that much. One run for Gip Grafton. Um, and some amazing uh, amazing partnership uh, for Katie Gurry and Ingrid Cronin Knight. Katie, 225. Ingrid, 113. Huge partnership uh, in women's Premier Grey cricket at the weekend. And not to forget Azra Bass with the ball. Uh, two five wicket bags over the course of the last couple of weekends. 575 uh, this Saturday, 10 for 113 over uh, the course of the game. Fantastic effort from him. Uh, and uh, of course, the one that uh, takes it away, uh, Gareth Hopkins for the Aces, 117 off 98 balls. I'm not going to talk too much about it because Neil's going to rip into this in a minute, but fantastic effort from Hoppy. Uh, so, performance of the week, well played, Hoppy. Great effort. So, let's talk more about those Aces. Um, talk us through it. Yeah, so I guess Wellington down there is a bit of a, a run fest. So Hoppy, like we said, got us off to a really, really good start with about 117 off 98 balls. Definitely performance of the week, but perhaps not player of the game. Because returning Kyle Mills from the Black Caps was once again miserly with the ball. Picking up uh, 4 for 43, so well done to Kyle, but... His lasting contribution to that game, a walk-off six off the last ball off Jesse Ryder when the Aces needed four to win. So, well done to Kyle, well done to the boys. We've got a few home games coming up now, so make sure you get down to Eden Park number two and support the Aces as we strive for the Ford Trophy. Um, and some of you will have been at Eden Park yesterday because there was another trophy on the line. Yeah, absolutely was. We're going to talk about the Jeff Crow Cup in a minute, but there was also another final at the weekend, the women's final, uh, which was Takapuna versus Papatoi, and Takapuna turned the tables from the first final, which was again, uh, between the same two sides earlier in the season. Uh, Papatoi got up to 197 for 8, 15 from Arlene Kelly, but a huge partnership between Vic Lind and uh, Lauren Down. 90 for Vic Lynn, the Hearts uh, captain, fantastic effort, took them pretty much to the brink of victory and they got their six wicket downs, bit of a stutter near the end there but 198 for six uh, for Tacker to take out the uh, Paul Dawson trophy, Paul Dawson trophy, so well done Tacker, but back to that game at Eden Park, Jeff Crow Cup final, out here on the number two, cracking game, Neil. Perennial bridesmaids Parnell finally uh, made it up the aisle all the way and, and down East Coast Bays but there was a few jitters along the way. I came down and Parnell were struggling at the start. There was some really good bowling from Bays. The, the guys were getting off to starts, uh, but Bays just kept pegging them back. Brad Chameleon picked up three for and continued his good form, but Willie Britton uh, had a really good 50. Lockie Ferguson uh, struck a few lusty blows towards the end, and Dave Goddard also got 42. Um, but then it was the, the perennial stars of the Parnell side, Mike Ravlich, James Walsh, the, their seam bowlers really got them off to a good start and had East Coast Bays really rocking at, at five down for not many. But then uh, Richard Lane and Donovan Debo with uh, 55 and 47 um, got Bays within a, a sniff of the thing. But then Mike Ravlich came back, closed it down with Ben Horn and well done to Parnell and uh, Trotty and his team and good luck at the National Club's champs guys. Yeah, that's coming up uh, in early April, so yeah, good luck there. Obviously, they've got something to live up to there. Tacker were National Club champions last year, so uh, yeah, good luck there, fellas. And if you're wondering where we are this week, we're actually in the Bootsuckliffe Lounge on the Outer Oval, and this is a great place to watch cricket from, and that's where the Aces will be out there uh, starting this week, four home, go home games in a row. So yeah, get down to Eden Park, support them in the Ford Trophy. That is it for another week on the Monday Wrap. We will see you next Monday.